Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance. No contribution with this video. Because I'm in such a good mood, I kind of wanted to keep it light right off the bat. And I came across something that kind of, not not kind of, it backs up a video I made um, not too long ago, back on November 7th, 2019. Cocaine is the narcissist baby boomers nose spinach and my whole point of the bit look we know how we feel about baby boomers on this channel we know they're liars we know they're sociopaths and we know they're a generation of hypocritical degenerates and what i came across here which was kind of just put across as a joke only just proves the level of their sloth, their debauchery, their degeneracy, and what it was like to be raised by these, by the generation of these people. Came across this. These shameless cocaine ads from the 1970s prove the past is, is a different universe. And this is from 2015. And what these all are, okay, is advertisements for cocaine accessories. And I remember actually seeing some of these ads in my parents' magazines back in the day. You know, they were all over the place in the house. You know? And it was just right out there. So let's, just, let's, let's read through this. 1970s were a crazy time, not just because of the obscure fashion, but the freedom of speech was much different than nowadays. Ads promoting all manners of drug paraphernalia have been around for decades. Roach clips, hashish bongs, smoking pipes, and designer cosmetic cases to hold your favorite narcotics. But in the late 70s to the early 80s, right when Gen X were children, being raised by these savages, one drug ruled them all, cocaine. In case you were wondering, drug paraphernalia ads are generally legal in the U.S., though some states such as Iowa, Ohio and Nebraska have specific ads outlawing them. These cocaine ads were dug up by David Wilford in Los Angeles, who runs a creative agency called The World's Best Ever, focusing on cannabis and drug stuff in the entertainment industry. Here's a collection of ads that ran from 1976 to around 1981. Like, these ages, I'm age like 5 to 10 here. 5 to 9. Like, and this is what our parents were looking at in their magazines and whatnot. I saw some of these when I, I remember seeing some of these, not even realizing what they were doing. Remember this the next time your baby boomer lectures you about anything, tries to hold the moral high ground to you on anything, culturally, personally, no matter what it is. This is who these people were. Could you see these billboards in your city these days? Tonight's forecast, snow! <laughs> There is a high front bringing snow to much of the nation tonight. Light to heavy accumulation is expected. We urge our viewers to prepare for this high front with quality mirrors from Easy Liner. <laughs> what a bunch of pieces of shit. Pre-cut grooves, because you don't want to lose any of your fucking precious nose candy, right? Pre-cut grooves, beveled edges, and a cork backing are just a few of the reasons why these mirrors are so popular. And there is an easy liner to suit the most discriminating taste tastes. Oh, geez, thank goodness. Hurry up to your neighborhood head shop before the supply runs out. Woo! Go get your beveled Coke mirror, everybody. Fluff your stuff with snow mill. The last, at last, a hassle-free way to make your snow grow. Snow mill provides a connoisseur with neatly screened snow with no waste. I hate wasted cocaine, don't, don't you? Crush crystals into cup, pour into a monofilament, lipless screen, sift into spun brass cup. Snow mill's components are, hand, are handsomely crafted brass and crystal clear acrylic. <clears throat> 
Pestle cup and screen orders received before December 1st will be processed for Christmas delivery. Order now. Great stocking stuffer is your cocaine accessories, baby boomers. Great fucking stocking stuffer for everybody. The hassle of scattered lines is, uh, I, don't you hate it? When, when you realize, when you realize the trials and the tribulations of our poor baby boomer parents, what they had to do just to snort cocaine up their noses. Oh, 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 hurry up for Christmas. You know, if we were good children. If we were good children, we would have saved our money and sent away to make sure our parents' cocaine was polished, ready to go. They're chasing around their little granules of fucking nose spinach. Must have been why we were such a such bad children. Send check or money order. Check out the prices. This is 1976 to 1981 for this shit. 15 bucks, 15, 25 bucks in 1976. Wow. Wow. Your piece of shittery was expensive back then too, huh? Oh, now if you really love now if we really loved our baby boomer parents, we we would have gotten them um, a Coke spoon. All 14 karat gold nail coke spoon, trapezoid safety blade, richest hill on earth spoon from Brother Bra Prod. One ounce solid gold bar, all to hold your cocaine in gold. Being cut by a golden razor with a golden coke spoon in a golden fucking jar in a fucking velvet pouch. Oh, you poor baby boomers. You poor, poor baby boomers. Oh, God. Oh, the Hooter. This is more. I guess this is, you know, if you just really don't want to hide anything. In the shape of a fucking vacuum instead of a straw, let's stick a fucking miniaturized vacuum up our nose to blow coke. Nice. Great example, baby boomers. Great example. Oh, and you know. For the fashionable and on the go fucking piece of shit to generate baby boomer. You got cocaine fucking formal wear. Earrings, necklaces. Put your coke, wear your coke spoon in your ear. Wear your coke spoon on a fucking pendant necklace. Nobody will know. Take it into the shitter and blow that precious nose candy, that nose spinach, right up your nose for a night of more unprotected sex and debauchery and torture of your children way to go way to go <clears throat> is your grass and coke worn out from traveling introducing the coke booster and the grass booster they put the potency they put back the potency that travel takes out you know i don't you hate it when you you know don't it must have been very rough for these baby boomers our parents okay when they had to travel, that because of the stress of traveling and, and you can't properly hide your illegal narcotics, okay, that you just can't enjoy them the same. Oh, God, you thought Vietnam was, you thought Vietnam was hard on this generation. It's nothing compared to the stress and anxiety of not being able to enjoy your cocaine on the road. I know a lot of you must be feeling guilty because you just didn't realize how bad this generation had it. You know, I, 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 you know I'm, I'm contemplating myself taking down all my baby boomer videos and just making an apology video because I, I just didn't realize. I just didn't know. <clears throat> I'm sorry I wasn't a good enough son to buy you a golden fucking Coke spoon. The nerve of me. What a little asshole I was. I just wanted an Atari game. <laughs> not snow, not slush. This this must be... I couldn't... Rechargeable? I don't know what that... I think this might be like a pre-crack machine. Not sure. Use a mirror to shave, but for true exquisite snorting, the Frost 8 kit. You know, you can't just snort. You can't, you can't, you cannot expect the baby boomer 
just to snort their cocaine on any old mirror. That's uncouth. That's not classy. Okay, they need a specialized custom mirror made with a suede wallet. Like, if you love these people, if you cared about these people, if you understood their struggle and their sacrifice, you would let them blow their pure nose candy on 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 st on stone tablets for the purest, most most exquisite smoke you you uh, uh, snort you can get, not smoke. Then start smoking it until the late 80s, until they figured out how to make it into crack. Yay! Snow blow adds light. Boy, does this say, if this doesn't say baby boomer, nothing does. Cool, refreshing, sanitary. The snow blow nose doucher. <laughs> That's what they are. A bunch of nose douchers. <laughs> what a perfect name. A nose doucher. Is the civilized alternative to wet fingers? Oh, you can't have that. Snowblow only costs nineteen ninety five postage prepaid. So send your check or money order today to High Enterprise Ltd. Just wait four to six weeks for delivery, and then have yourself a real snowblow satisfaction guarantee or money back. Uh, four to six weeks, your teeth might fall out by then, but fuck it. Hopefully, it gets there. Whew. Got your nose open? Too, too much of a good thing hurts. At last, here's the solution. The wash that's designated to protect your nose. So I guess it's like a pre-wash before you take your nose candy. Know what you put up your nose. Cocaine Consumer's Handbook. You know, this is the who's who guy because you can't just snort any type of cocaine. You know that, right? It's got to be the right type. And if you're a connoisseur, you know, you might want some, you know, you might think you're smoking some Colombian pure, but it might be cut with something else, some, oh, too much baking. So you don't know. You don't know. Get the Cocaine Consumer's Handbook for all your cocaine snorting needs, baby boomers. I mean, this is really just a coffee table book. I mean, that is if the coffee table doesn't already have a pile of Coke on it. Shitbags. Awesome. Cocaine tools made from ivory. So let's kill some animals. Let's kill some elephants. Steal their tusks so we can make them into cocaine tools. Yay! For 15 to 30 bucks a pop. Yay! Thanks, baby boomers. You're awesome. Nice, neat, tote to sweet. Oh, this is all like a contained, so so this is like for contained snorting, so none of your cocaine get, gets, gets spewed around. <clears throat> Shoveler Snow, $75, 14-karat gold, $18 for sterling silver. For sterling silver. So if, if you don't want the gold experience for 18 bucks, you can have a sterling silver cocaine shovel. There's a Coke shovel for all kinds of budgets, everybody. For all kinds of budgets. Cocaine and wood. So, you know, maybe maybe you're into wood. Maybe you like a, like a wood finishing. Okay, you're not into gold. You're not into metals. Maybe you have an allergy. Okay, maybe it just doesn't... Maybe you have an old school decor to your home. You're not into the new 80s chrome and metals and art decor type. That, that, that newfangled stuff. You want to keep it. You want to keep it to your roots. You want to keep it in wood. Baby boomers, we got the cocaine set for you. We got the cocaine set for you with a money back guarantee. Don't ask me how what what the criteria is for not being satisfied for your cocaine tools, but it's there. Be nice to your nose with screens, the original stainless steel coke screen no razor blades ever again powders and fluffs your stash makes a little go a long way which always helps you know which always helps three inch pocket sky square sent in ziploc bag for safety i mean these are just wonderful invite these ladies to your table you'll be glad you did well i don't even know what these is uh fine 
white lady available in two sizes. Oh, they're mirrors. Oh, it's another mirror. Oh, so I guess we have gender specific mirrors now back then. Oh, isn't that kind of phobic in, in some way? The magic flute, you know, awesome for just, you know, magically blowing your nose candy up your nose. The blue lady, ah, Coke scales. I mean, does anything say baby boomer more than these ads? Does anything say baby boomer more than these ads? More scales than fish? Oh, look at this. Like, it, it's just one. And I've seen some of these ads before. This one I remember seeing. The gold standard. The, uh, the unmistakable elegance of gold blades designed for the discriminating player. And, okay, the nice thing about this, once you run out of all your money, okay, you can sell the gold blade for more Coke before you have to suck dick to get the Coke. So, you know, there is, there is, there is another added benefit to it. Jade Slab Spoon Straw Blade from Jade Adventure. Prices from $25 to $500. Imagine having 500 bucks. Now, that's how good the economy was for these fucking baby boomers. That some of them could spend $500 on a fucking Coke spoon. <clears throat> Do it orally with the Gasper. Oral or, or nasal or snow ingester. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's the last one. Remember this. Remember this about... Remember who this was marketed to and who it was marketed for and who was buying this shit up. Baby boomers. Degenerates. Just outright degenerates. And remember this. Remember these things. When they come down on you on their fucking high horse with their senses of superiority and their fucking morality, this is who they were. This is who they are, and this is what fucking ra and this is what raised us by and large. A bunch of self-indulgent fucking cokeheads. God, degeneracy. Degeneracy. Let's get coked up. <laughs> Let's get coked up. Have sex. Golden fucking razor blades and coke spoons. There's there's your baby boomer paradise. When they talk it about the heyday and their good old days. This is what they're talking about. This is what they're talking about. Disgusting. Always remember who and what this who, the, who this generation is and what they're about. Baby boomers, a generation of degenerates. So, let me know what you think in the comments section below. And if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to have a private video made, or you'd just like to make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful, because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all of this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. Also, follow me on the library app as well. This is Ollie Matthews. This has been, I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been the Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.